This is the integrated math one practice test for 10 ready. This is the 2017-18 version. And in this year, it's question number 14. So if you if I move this to a newer version, you'll know that that's why I called it 14. It may be a different number next time. Jackie buys three hot dogs and a pretzel for twelve twenty-five. Sylvia buys two hot dogs and four pretzels for sixteen fifty. So we need to come up with a system of equations, which would be two lines in this case. And we're going to find their solution, which is actually where they intersect. And it'll help us find information about the hot dog pretzel situation. First thing I need to do is sort of write a math equation for each one of the little scenarios. Math is a language, so we're just going to use it to explain what's happening. The price of a hot dog is H, so if you buy three hot dogs, it's three times that price. So you just choose 3H plus one pretzel, and they say P is the price of a pretzel. Fine. Whatever they want to do is fine by me. Who am I to judge them? Then Sylvia buys two hot dogs, so 2H for her, and four pretzels at 16.50. So that would be D for this one. Now, they want me to find the price of a hot dog. There's a bunch of different ways to f solve systems of equations. I'm going to use elimination, but it really, I mean, whatever you want to do is fine by me. You choose your own adventure. If you want, you could do substitution. Substitution's where you take one variable and redefine it in the form of another. That way you can eliminate it and just sort of substitute that value in. So we want to know what hot dogs are. So if I could just substitute every time I saw pretzels out with hot dogs, it'd be easy to solve. So for instance, 3H plus 1P, I'm just going to get the price of pretzels by itself. I realize that this should be a 12. I don't know what happened there. I must have erased it at some point. So, or never wrote it. I'm to Both are likely. Subtract 3H from both sides, and you get P is equal to negative 3H plus 12.25. Now, what I can do is take this whole thing and go back up to one of the equations, the one we just used or the other, and substitute in this every time I see this. So two hot dogs plus four times negative three H. Yuck, my writing's horrible today. Is equal to 1650. This is supposed to be a, a 4. I don't know what's going on today. 2H. Then I'm going to distribute, of course. Negative 12H. Plus 49. Equals 16. 5, 0. My like terms are here, so it's negative 10H. Track 49. Divide by negative 10. And I end up with a final hot dog value of 3.25. That's substitution. And like earlier, I said that I'm definitely going to use elimination. So I guess you get both. So let's look at elimination. If you're f cool with that, feel free to just, you know, get be done with the video. I'm fine with it. But I'll show you the other one as well. 2H plus 4P. So in this case, I want to keep hot dogs. So what I could do is use elimination. I want to eliminate the p value, so if I want to eliminate plus 4p, I might do the whole thing times minus 4. This one only. The reason I would do that, I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can see the new set. This is the equation that I started with. Now I do negative 4 times 3h gives me negative 12h negative 4 times 1 gives me minus 4p. See how they're 
opposite now. I'm just going to use addition to eliminate them. And then I have negative 4 times 12.25, which is negative 49. Looks similar to the substitution, right? Eventually, you'll end up with the same overall value. So this goes away negative 12 plus 2, because it's positive 2, negative 10h. This is just like from before, where we ended up with uh, 32 point, negative 32.5. Divide by negative 10. Oh, I don't know why I put negative there. It's positive. Negative divided by negative. Sheesh. Sorry about that. All right, so there you go. Setting up this system of equations is pretty easy. The solving really isn't that difficult either. You just sort of need to, unless the question asks you for a specific method, pick one of the methods that you like and just get really comfortable with that method, and it should serve you well as you move forward.